Hi, I'm Steve Davy. I'm the author of the Footprint Guide to Travel Photography. I'm here taking some pictures in Arches National Park in, in southern Utah. And I just thought I'd give you my top five tips on how to take better travel pictures. The first rule, just really try and think about what you're doing. It's also too easy to just see something you like, walk up, snap a picture without really thinking. Try and think about different angles that might make a more interesting picture. Try and think about different viewpoints, see if you can get up high or shoot from down low. And then think about your composition. Try and construct an interesting, unique photograph as opposed to just taking a picture. Okay, this is Zion National Park. It's getting up to midday now. Light's very harsh directly from overhead, meaning you either get very deep shadows or just flat, boring lighting. So the next tip is the light's better in the first couple and the last couple of hours of the day. It's a lot warmer, a lot more directional, and a lot softer. It'll make things glow and it'll make them look really nice. Okay, tip number three. This is the fiery furnace, again in Arches National Park. And it is, it is a furnace at the moment. The sun's coming directly from overhead, gives you horrible shadows on your face. It's worse if someone's wearing a hat. You can still take pictures though. Most cameras with a flash will have a, a what's called a fill-in flash mode. You switch this on and it'll send out a little burst of flash when you take a picture. Lighten the shadows and you'll get great results and still be able to see someone's eyes. This is Rain God Mesa in Monument Valley National Park, part of the Navajo Nation. My fourth tip is to try and photograph, rather than just photograph something on its own, then you just get a picture of something, try and create a photograph by putting two things together. So, for instance, you could just photograph, crouch down low, photograph the bushes in the foreground and have the rock mesa in the background. It'll create a more interesting shot and you can start to set up relationships between the things in your photograph. Okay, end of the trip in Las Vegas, ready to fly back to London. This is the final tip. A lot of people like taking night photographs, but generally they wait until it's night time, until the sky is completely dark. Then all you get is bright lights in a dark, inky frame of the picture. So, to get much better night shots, take them at dusk, just after the sun goes down, kind of this time. You see the lights balance the sky, and you get a much fuller picture. Okay, that's just five simple tips of how you can improve your photography. Obviously, in the Footprint Guide to Travel Photography, there are a lot more tips, and hopefully anyone, whether you're just shooting with a compact camera or a complicated digital SLR, you can get something out of the book, and hopefully it'll inspire you to travel and have a bit more fun when you're traveling as well. Thank you.